Hi! Hi! Wow! Hi! Uh, uh, uh. Hey everybody, it's Daniel. We are here walking in circles in my local insane asylum. And today we're going to be talking about... Be Throughout each day, I cross out all the tasks that I do in a bullet journal. Nothing special, right? You know, you might be thinking, why the hell am I even talking about this right now? Come on, get on to the better subjects. What is this? Who cares? This ain't kindergarten. Okay, I don't care about no notebook. You know, why do I need to track stuff in a bullet journal? I can just do that all in my head, right? You played yourself and you're wrong. Don't ever play yourself. Congratulations, you played yourself. Another one, another one, another another one, another one, another 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 You remember the saying, better to be safe than sorry? Humans are forgetful. It's in our nature. Two weeks ago, I forgot about this little family movie we we're gonna watch. We were talking about it one week beforehand and constantly reminded by my family. And the day of, throughout the morning till afternoon, it didn't even occur to me that we are doing a movie that day. It literally did not even come to my mind. I remember this one time I left my two liter bottle of water in a yoga studio that I always have a habit of keeping with me. And hell, like sometimes I even forget garbage day, which is pretty much a lifelong habit. Point is, we're forgetful. You're forgetful, we're all forgetful. And we can't remember everything perfectly. So it's better to be safe than sorry especially when it comes to building your dream life. Bullet journaling helps me stay organized as it's basically the habit book of my habits. Imagine having a manager reminding you every morning what and when to do all of the important tasks of the day and then giving you a nice pat on the back every time you do it. I remember before I had my journal, I would go through these phases with my best friend Gaz of like, hey, I wanna do this for 30 days or I wanna do this challenge or you know, I wanna implement this or I wanna do you know, this nofap this, 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 that, all these cool challenges, all these cool habits that you wanna implement. Sometimes it, it would really hit the nail on the coffin. Sometimes you know, it, it just wasn't for me. I would test it out and like, no, I don't really want this in my life. It doesn't really serve a purpose. And other times it just falls out of place because I didn't have a really good plan. So let's say you, let's say you want to do a challenge. Let's take NoFap for example. How do you think you're going to do NoFap? Really? How do you want to do this 90 day reboot? How are you going to stay consistent? What other habits are you going to implement? How are you going to go from the base of the mountain to plunging a flag at the very top? Really, these are important questions you need to ask yourself. No one's going to do it for you. You got to do it. Bullet journals, baby, they work. It's starting to sound like an infomercial. Hi, 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 it's Fitz with my nuts. You're gonna be in a great mood all day because you're gonna be slapping the skin off my nuts. It's helped me become more sharper, punctual, practical, and organized throughout my day. Um, you know, each and every day, I don't have that feeling of anxiety of like, you know, having to hold everything in my head and organize everything mentally because it is really taxing trying to, you know, think of everything linear, linearly when our brain are so complex and our thought patterns are so complex, it would give me a lot of anxiety. Um, and I, I couldn't, I just couldn't work like that. And so I tried mind mapping, it wasn't for me. Um, and so now bullet journaling is just golden. I get to lay out things the way I want to do it. I get to see everything on paper. When I wake up, I don't have to have everything in my head. I don't have to have this like powerful mental fortitude of like summon all the tasks and lay them out in a perfect chart in my mind. I get to just wake up, open up my book, see it all on paper from what I'd laid out, get to see the whole design of the month and how every day is gonna be structured. And I just get to pick and choose what I wanna do. You know, oh, okay, I hydrated, beautiful. Stretched, beautiful, meditated, beautiful. Okay, hmm, maybe I'll start off today by making music. Or maybe I'll start off today by working on freelance stuff. Or maybe I'll do some of my video courses. Or maybe I'll make a video for you guys. Or maybe I'll just go for a run. Oh, I'll just make some breakfast. It helps me keep myself together. It takes all the stress and anxiety of, oh, what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? It's just, it's made my life way, way better. A lot more enjoyable. It makes working a lot more enjoyable. So. Honestly, a lot of you out there need this. A lot of you out there lack structure in your day and NoFap helps you um, motivate yourself to do it. A lot of us, you know, we start NoFap, we get that energy, that surge, that motivation. Boom, the first one week, the first, the, even up to the second week, 
Um, we are so motivated to just do, 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 do. And we got everything up here, but the problem is that doesn't last. So something like this, you know, I like this idea of how do we make things easy? How do we make things simple? Why do we have to complicate things? You know, some things in life are natively hard. Getting a billion dollars is going to be really hard unless you're going to go with the Federal Reserve and just print that shit like a freaking gypsy. A lot of tasks in life are just natively difficult. So why make things any harder? If you know you're doing something like NoFap that's going to be challenging, why do you want to make it any harder on yourself, right? Why not just do things that are just simple? Keep it simple, okay? You know that like, okay, starting NoFap, I got to keep myself busy and knowing that we're forgetful, it's better to be safe than sorry. It's better to take the safe route, not relapse a thousand times, constantly making the same mistake over and over and just learn the le lesson from Daniel and get myself organized, right? And some people are just generally organized. They don't really have a need for it to be like organizing every part of their day. They just want something like to kind of just vent or just some sort of creative outlet. So they like drawing in it. There's some crazy pictures. Personally for me, I don't really care about making it look fancy. I just want it to look clean, concise, and just a way, to, a way for me to track my own stuff. Uh, that's how I use it. I'll include a picture of what I do. So uh, check the link below. I think I'll have like a um, multi-region Amazon link. It's about like 20 bucks USD. It's around like 15 to 20 dollars. Some people do it like Monday to Sunday. I personally just like doing month to month. I find that I'll make the most out of this. This book will last me like five years till I have to get a new one. Um, it's also that brown man in me who wants to be cheap. But you know, there's like hundreds of pages in there. Now there's 12 months in a year. So you get the idea. It'll last me quite a long time if I just use it on a monthly, as a monthly little thing. So that's basically the two cents for today, guys. Journaling, bullet journaling, keeping yourself organized, tracking your moods, tracking your habits. All this stuff is amazing. Um, I highly recommend you guys to do it. Even if you're skeptical, you know, I wasn't the type of guy who ever thought I'd be interested in this stuff. I started it, I was like, whoa, this stuff is epic, I love it. Um, so give it a try, be open-minded. Uh, give it a shot, see if it's for you. The only way you'll know is if you try it, you know, just like anal. Just like anal. Just give it a try, man. Just shove your ding dong in there. <laughs> so thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to smash the likes. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the notification bell, okay? That shit's important. You'll be notified on when Daniel goes live, uh, when Daniel uploads new content, no fab news, you're not gonna want to wanna miss that stuff. So make sure you're notified, smash up the likes. The question of the day, I want you all to answer this. Drop your comments below. How do you guys stay organized? What methods, what tactics, what mentalities? Share it all below. Love you guys a lot and we'll catch you on the next episode. Peace With out. One man's vision.